empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Points in blaming you, you did not know
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's looking like we might have a game here soon. hoo Let's get it. Well, welcome to the Premier League. Premier. Valor League. Stay tuned. We got a full lobby coming to you shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to hop right into this game. We have Team Vsauce versus the Eugen Dynasty. I do hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, we're going to... Red team's turn to ban. First pick is first ban is going to be a Velheim, pretty OP side laner at the moment. Uh, Semi flexible, you could run him in a jungle, but uh, I haven't seen too much of that in the NA honestly. Uh, definitely a dominant side laner, really counters uh, some of the really strong ones right now, uh, like Roxy Omen. Um, interesting, the Yorn, uh, the troll Yorn. Rourke, despite getting the uh, supposed nerfs, still getting a lot of attention in the pick ban phase. Personally, I think you can just kite him around. But, you know, to each their own. <clears throat> Roxy, what an annoying hero that is. Uh, that's why you ban her. Pretty dominant side laner. The, the amount of heal that she has is pretty incredible. Really need two or three heroes to deal with her, or just an item. Uh, you can also pick up the anti-heal items. Pretty decent Roxy counter, but you still have an itemize just for just for one hero. Super Ban has his has his nickname for a reason. Has his nickname for a reason. Uh, you can't really tell what they're trying to do with either of these bands. Uh, last band's going to be Lindus, another pretty. Standard ban, nothing crazy here again. Boom, and we are going to see our first pick. It's also always exciting. Are they going to show their hand? Do they have a, a route they want to go? Will it all be revealed here in the first pick, or will they keep us guessing? To be honest, I didn't do much homework on these teams. Um, so, I'm not going to really... Try and predict what's going to happen. Violet, if they lock it in, pretty strong. Pretty strong pick, hard to go wrong with. Uh, I expect them to tank up here after that. Have a decent amount of CC in their comps. We'll see what the response is here. You still have the Flash available. Nice Violet counter. Uh, you could go the Zephy's route. But you wouldn't need to pick that here. Aram, a solid support. 
able to break through that front line, just go straight onto the back line. Uh, I hope they played his support. Side lane Aram leaves a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. Whoa! Why, hello, Telonis. Be interesting to see if that's actually the first pick. Oh, wee! Here's. You want some edge of your seat action? Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> the tell on us is going to be locked in there. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, tell on us does have a nice bit of range. Uh, the Violet will outrange her and out poker. Tell on us is going to be a little more consistent damage than your Violet, even though they did change Violet's abilities on the slash patch. Are a fantastic sideliner. Chugnar is another great pickup here. Honestly, you could still run it support mid or in the sideline. Um, so it still kind of keeps your enemies guessing a little bit here. The other team isn't quite sure how you're going to set this lineup up. Uh, then Natalia, uh, I feel like it's an underrated mage pick at the moment. If you're going against a heavy CC team, um, or even have a huge front line like an Aram. Aram locks somebody down, you need Natalia laser, and boom, bye bye. Thanks for playing. Uh, side laner options at this point. The Scud is still there. The Scud seems to have been fallen out of favor a little bit. I really don't know what they're going to go here. Malik's still there. Xenial's still there. Omen's out there. Roxy's gone. Oh, are we going to see my boy? Let's go. That means there's going to be an Arim side lane, which is a little disappointing. But I do love a good Thane. Let's go, Thane! Uh, it's a fantastic support if you need somebody that's just beefy. Take a lot of damage. Uh, his passive can proc for a lot of HP that you don't realize. Similar to having going anti-heal for the Roxy, you kind of have to with the Arum uh, as well. Uh, L'Oreal, we don't really see at all anymore. This is a forgotten about. A hero of the wayward past. I love a good L'Oreal game, but yeah. I think she needs too many items and just complete lack of stuns. And really any CC. The Crixie's going to be locked in and the ever annoying Marja. I always feel like this margin never does anything too crazy, but it's just super annoying. Then we get in a Croft pick. Let's dance, baby. Let's dance. Croth, the Croth is one of the most mobile heroes in Arena of Valor. Pretty much everything's a dash. Multiple dashes. And then completely unseeable in his ultimate. Uh, good, in the, good in the Croths are actually pretty hard to counter. Uh, they invade your jungle, um, they get in, they get out, they steal your buffs, and then they're gone. Uh, they don't have to spend a lot of time there. They have a large amount of burst damage, uh, especially if you're comboing it with a punish. Well, this is a hell of a long last timer. Boom, ba -ba boom, ba boom, boom. Uh, so right off the rip, Let's see, who do we think is going to win here? I think it's going to come down into the Croth. Uh, if this the Croth comes out swinging like a god, I think they're going to take it. Uh, the other lineup's a much safer lineup, though. Uh, you pretty much feed Crixie and Violet. Um, let your Marja and Chug and Ari just keep everybody off. Um, decent amount of CC. The Croth, a little bit of dive. But as long as they're not in range of this Natalia. Um, and if they don't kill themselves on the A room, but we'll see. I just think that the Vsauce team lineup needs a lot more coordination. I think the uh, Eugen Dynasty lineup is a lot easier to execute. I mean, the Ari just hops on the back line, kills the Telonis, and boom. 
Easy game. <clears throat> uh, we're going to have Xavier playing the Marja. Swavy playing the Crixie. Hit on the Chugnar. Andromeda on the Ari. And Capitalum on the Violet. Tic Tac is going to be playing the Necroth. Burnin is going to be playing the Natalia. Uh, Sugma is going to be playing the Telonis. Thane is going to be played by Squabbles. And Thor, their ever impressive Thor, is going to be played. Be playing the Arum. Alright, it has been a while since I casted a game, so we'll see how this actually plays out here. Uh, where are my buttons? That's what those do. Uh, nothing really crazy happening. Everybody poking. Nobody really... Ooh, big damage from the Natalia. Right in the face. Again? That's two. Woo-wee! Bottom lane got a little action going on here. Sorry about that. Pull that back up. Still nothing crazy happening. Except for this T -T Natalia being way out of place. Is it going to be first blood? Telonis is searching. Ooh, and the flicker is wasted. They want this. They want it bad. Thane is here too. First blood. You're going to go to the Crixie though. Are they going to get this Crixie in return? Thane taking tons of tower shots. Not really worthwhile trade there. Nice job by Chugner. Baiting it out. Violet just doing her job. Farming away. Farming away here. Uh, where's this invade happening? Like I said. Woo! Went in risky. And paid. The cough. Croth trying to do Necroth things, and it just didn't work out. They had the early advantage, and they lost it. This Marja dies, too. Violet was way up there. Chugnar, looking to get some action. Boy, my camera skills are rough right now. Sorry, boys. Sorry, girls. Crixie getting out the pokes. Poke, poke, poke. Burning getting in position here and then getting vision on that bush. Ari in the top lane. Looking to secure vision. Marja getting a little aggressive in the bottom lane. We do have rotations coming in from the middle. Uh, they're not going to make the full rotation. They're going to just make a pit stop here at the dragon. First dragon is not nearly as uh, snowball-y as it used to be, but it's still fairly important. And Talia is going to be able to peek this out. Is she going to go for the steal? Oh, she's going to blow her abilities, but that might be the end of Natalia. Chugnar's chasing one or two more pokes from this Violet. That'll be in the back line, though. Marja. Going off with the ultimate, trying to stay alive. Going to try and trade for this kill. Oh, not quite. Execute burned as well. As the mid lane tower gets pressure. They still have one minion here. A full HP minion, by the way. They might actually get this tower. That's going to be a huge advantage. Nope, not quite. Oh, Aram coming in with a big stun. Thane trying to come in. He doesn't have, not quite four, doesn't have the King's Glory yet. If he had the King's Glory there, they might have been able to make some things happen. Uh, everybody seems to be centered around the mid lane here. Violet's just cleaning it up in her jungle. They want to make something happen here. They're trying to bait it out. Ooh, the poke damage, though. Tell Honest already down the half. Mid lane. Just needs one or two more rolls from the Violet. This Chugner's coming in, looking to get some vision. Violet's just there to clean it up. Natalia's going to pew pew from the back line, but it's not going to be enough. Crixie's going to come in as well. Tell Honest trying to do some damage. Ooh, Necroth going in. Not going to be enough. Nice ultimate up from the Chugnar. He is going to end up paying for his life, though. Oh, somehow he skates out. This Violet poke is just crazy coming through. Oh! Dancing. Oh, Marge is going to go for it. Could it be a double? Oh, it just didn't get to the bush in time. Check the bushes, boys and girls. All right, in the top lane is going to try and get to this Sentinel. Full level, almost two level advantage on this Aram, which is bad news bears. Big stun from the Aram. Not going to happen. Is able to lock down that Chugnar, though. It is going to pay for life. That's another reason that the side lane Aram isn't too great. You are going to suicide yourself at some point. 
Looking to reset on the dragon. Nice move there. The Croth dancing around in the top lane. Trying to maybe pick up a kill on this Arya. Not going to happen. Violet has already retreated to her jungle, though. Check items. Violet has completed the jungle and boots. Pretty far ahead. Uh, Necroft's doing a decent job of keeping up, though. It's kind of what Necroft does. Top lane, Natalia! Not able to pick it up. I finally got the last roll on it there. Dragon goes down pretty much uncontested. They're making a push into the jungle. And they're just gonna try and starve him out at this point. This is not looking good. Not looking good for the sauce boys as Necroth goes down. And there goes the Tell Honest right behind. Thane is just Oh, there goes the King's Glory. Yeah, you can take a few extra damage, why not? Ari did go down in the top lane, which I missed. Natalia and Aram were able to, but it looks like Natalia, uh, Ari was able to pick up the Natalia kill as well. Um, they're just going to continue marching down this bottom lane. At this point, I give it to Eugen Dynasty. It is their game to throw, sitting pretty comfortably at a 5,000 gold lead as they look to take yet another tower. Violet is able to keep the separation. Crixie goes down. Nobody else has died yet. This Violet's trying to run for his life as Marcha goes in on the back line, searching for that Necroth. All they lose... Oh, see you, Marja. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> the Necroth. What a slippery little guy. Ari's going to get some revenge on Natalia for earlier, and Necroth's going to try and save this tower. Violet looked like she did stay stick around just a little too long in that bottom lane. Chegnar's going to be trying to get some tower pressure. Who is this? Ari's going crazy in the back line. Uh, at this point, they really need to secure some kind of an objective for the red team here. They need a tower. They need a dragon. They need to make something happen that goes in their favor. Uh, all of their towers are looking pretty weak. This violet is getting pretty scary. Looks like she'll be building into the Rockbreaker. Alright. Going in onto the Croth onto the top lane. Who got the buff? Ari was able to steal the buff too. Feels bad. <laughs> this Ari is just dancing all over the enemy team as they make a dragon attempt here. Should be pretty easy. I think Ari's going to take up this kill as she just pops in behind the Natalia. Uh, Necroth is trying to do Necroth things. Going in on to the Marja. King's Glory is coming out from the Thane. Finally going to kill the Chugnar. Violet's going to make an appearance now. as She's bringing the Creep Wave up. Thane and Aram doing their best just to be tanky. But there's just too much HP for the, the Voss. The, the Sauce Boys. Vsauce. Is it Victory Sauce? Why are we watching this guy walk to base? Drew, there's the... Oh, we didn't go wrong, Breaker. Clave Sanctity is already goes deep into the back line on the tail. Honest and pays dearly for her life. Just needed a little bit of a follow-up there. Maybe a slight miscommunication. Ari and Violet are going to poke out anybody. Oh, the, the Tricy can test here. That... Oh, be careful. Necroth trying to do Necroth things. And he just doesn't have enough farm to do Necroth things. He has done a really good job of keeping up with the enemy team, but he's really the only one. And the cross strengths aren't, at least in my opinion, team fighting. It's being able to control the enemy jungle and deny this Violet from farm, but she still still ends up with more farm. Ooh! Nice little dodge there by the Violet to get out. You're going to need some help, and that's going to be it. Just overstayed their welcome a little bit there. Ah, but that's exactly what you need to get back into the game. Chugnar's just continually pushing out the top lane, though. Oh, they can't really kill him at all. Ari might be able to make a play here. As Talonis dies, yep. Yeah. Still chasing this Chugnar. He's lost only a quarter of his life. Uh, depending on this, no, Ari can't kill either of those guys, really. They're too tanky. Uh, yeah, Chugnar lost about half his HP during that encounter. Nice job disengaging on the Chugnar. Uh, the Slayer is in play now. We'll see who gets the first Slayer. Natalia blew everything. 
She got nothing left now. Necroth's going to try and jump into the back line. Crixie's looking to make the ultimate. Stun onto the Necroth. And that's going to be the end of the Natalia as well. So a little... Ooh! Is able to take the Chugnar with her, though. Maybe a little greeny by the Chugnar. They didn't really need him. It's Ari still doing what Necroth should be doing in the bottom lane. Oh, now, here's the choice. Do you go Dragon or Slayer? Uh, at this point in the game, I really like the extra pushing pressure that the Dragon or the Slayer provides with your baby Dragon that you can spawn. Uh, the buff is nice for the damage, but if you're already this far ahead, you kind of just want more lane pressure than anything. Uh, something that's going to soak up their time. I would like to see Ari rotate to the middle lane for this fight. Uh, that bottom wave's already way gone. It's Violet, though, man. This Violet is a monster right now. Just spray and pray for the crit. Here comes another one from the Violet. How many will she get here? This this might be a team wipe. Aram's the last man standing. Or woman. And they have their eyes on this tower. Are they going to be able to get it? One more roll and that should be it. There goes the first base tower. For the Dynasty Boys. Gonna just clean up the jungle here and try and assault this next tower one or two rolls from this violet should be enough one two there we go that tower is down now we're just going to try and poke them out as they, this marja brings up the wave fairly nice wave control here by the Eugen dynasty as well they might have gotten caught out oh king's glory a little early there this violet is a monster though so necroth is trying to chase oh he's killing the necroth violet there we go a uh, couple deaths for that. Marge is still bringing that bottom lane, though, as they are merely a distraction here at the top. That bottom lane only needs one roll from Violet, and she ooh, might have rolled into the tower just a little too far. Marge, uh, will just roll on this bottom tower. Forest Violet. There we go. It's gone. And that should be about it. Uh, the only thing that can't happen... It's a pretty hard game for the Dynasty to lose at this point. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Vsauce did, uh, they just weren't, I don't know, the Telanos doesn't do a lot for me. Uh, the Necroth actually didn't play bad, they just needed a little more, a little more help. Uh, I think if you're going to play the Necroth, you want to play a little more skirmishy lineups. Uh, the Natalia, they just didn't combo enough with the Natalia, right? I mean, look at the damage she does, even this under-farmed. This Natalia is just spewing damage. Oh, they just need to combo a little better, and I think they have a much better chance of winning. Uh, like I said, the Necroth actually did a fantastic job of keeping up in a farm. Overall, good game. Well played, boys and girls. 31 to 15. It was a lot closer there in the, the mid game than the score leads you to believe. They did a little kill farming at the end, but uh, you know, it happens. Capitalum. Capitalum. Dishing out 92,000 damage, 50%, 54% of the team fight participation. We'll see what happens in the next game. I'm pretty sure there's a next game. I don't. I think it's best of three. <gasps> I should know more about this, but I don't, and I'm sorry. I will know more next week. Uh, I thought I'd be kind of tagging along this week. We, uh, PBL had a, some last-minute things happen, so I took over. Uh, where do I find out this new... Uh, it's...
I'm finding out if these are best of threes or not. We can turn music back on now. Bam. <clears throat> what a fan Fantastic game one. Sorry guys, it's been a while since I've casted. That was a little, a little rough there. I'm not gonna lie to you. A little rough on the casting. The camera work can definitely be improved upon. So don't worry. Yo, what up, chat? Chief Vlad. Yo, what up, Chief Vlad? What up, Wintastic? How you doing? Shout out, HK. You like Alan Walker? Word, 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 word. Oh shit, we need to plug the phone in. Whoopsies. Oh poo, we need to plug the phone in. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm wait, just waiting on a lobby ID. Uh, 6279. Oh, I shouldn't have said that on stream. Good thing I'm dyslexic and said it wrong. <laughs> I need a, I need a waiting screen. Yo, I was not prepared for all this. I need a whole nother screen, dude. Oh, I guess they're ready. All right, we don't need another screen now. All right. Holy cow, I still need my charger. First man, is it gonna be Velhide again? Maybe it was annoying to them. I'm just plugging in the charger. Alright, who else were our band? Sorry. Sorry, guys. I was not expecting all that to happen so quick. I need... A... There we go. Alright, we're good now. Alright, Tulin, Murad, Lindis. Velheim, Natalia, and Violet. Oh, the Yorn pick. I probably would have gone with the Slims, but that's just me, you know? Yorn units pretty much you play the same way as Violet. Not prepared for all of this. Aram, a fantastic first pick. Um... Let's see if they run a support this game. They, they played it sadly in the last game. Really like to see the support. Superman. Uh, one hero that can be dealt with, but you have to have a plan to deal with, right? 
Like, you just need heroes uh, with dedicated stuns, slows, pretty much anything that you can get. Um, can be dealt with, you just have to have a plan in mind. Uh, who is the protection for this Yorn against the Superman? That That is the question at hand, isn't it? Uh, Lumber, decent pick. Does have a very quick reaction knock. I guess it's a mini stun. Uh, it has a slow as well. Can take Superman out of flight form. Boop, they're going to troll me. All right, I'm going to quit talking about these picks until they actually go through. Malak is not another, like, Malak's a decent option to the Superman as well, though. You get your slow with your B. Uh, same theory as the Lumber. Uh, massive AoE slow area, where if you come in or out, you're going to be slowed. Takes him out of flight form. Daichan has lots of stuns. A big AoE slow. Uh, Malak, also a uh, very popular item on Malak is the Frost Cape. So, a natural Frost Cape builder is something you're also looking for against the Superman. Now they just need, I assume that Aram's going to be played in the side lane again, so they're looking for a jungle and support. Uh, this Yorn might actually be a side lane Yorn. Uh, if I was, who is this team? Eugen Dynasty, if I were them, I would pick up like it's Zephys right now. Something crazy, they can just get all over. Want, you want to be all over this Yorn. You don't want this Yorn to feel safe at all. Gilder. Hmm. The Raz is... A bursty hero can get deep into the back line. Gilder is just going to be annoying. Now, might be a support Gilder, actually. And the only issue with that is you pretty much have to run Flicker. Because if you don't, it is going to make his ultimate extremely hard to hit. Uh, Gilded Greaves are a necessity. For the Vsauce team, uh, Yujin Dynasty is winning this series one to one to nothing. I think they are best of three. Yes, they are best of threes. Aram Butterfly going to be the jungle. You never don't really see Butterfly too much in the competitive scene. It is a much more pub hero. Uh, I'm always intrigued. You know, you never know what hero is going to jump from the C list to the, the B or A list even. Uh, you never know what build's going to trigger this hero into, into fruition. So I'm always open for new ideas. You never know. It might work out. They do have a lot of damage. Uh, they just let the Roxy Malik. And Yorn kind of do a bunch of AoE damage with the Daichan, and then Butterfly goes in for the cleanups. The only thing, the other downside to having the Butterfly jungler is that typically you're looking for your jungler to set up stuff for you. Uh, set, set up kills, uh, objectives, towers, whereas your Butterfly really needs to for your team to set up the kills for you. Um, that's the biggest downside and the main reason you don't see Butterfly in like a competitive scene. Uh, this Eugen Dynasty, their lineup's looking pretty strong. They're going to do a last minute swap there. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to give this one to Eugen Dynasty. Although I am intrigued to see how this Vsauce squad works out here. All right, we're going to have Tic Tac on the Malik, Burnin' on the Diachan, Sugma on the Yorn, Thor is going to be playing the Roxy, Squabbles on your Butterfly, Capitalum on the Slims, Andromeda on the Superman, Swavy on the Raz, and Hit on Gilder and Kanefer on the Aram. Uh, like I said, I think I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give it to uh, Eugen Dynasty. I just don't think that the Vsauce squad has... 
all the tools needed to deal with a Superman, actually. I guess a Roxy can build Frosties. Um, we build a lot of slow, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. That's why you play the game. And you know, rat boys and girls. I'd love to see an invade from the Slims. Uh, if you can shut down this butterfly early, it's really going to be a thorn in her side. Butterfly also needs to be fairly ahead in the game. There's quite a long load time. Our first items have been bought. Let's get this screen set up for optimal viewing. Let's see if we get an invade here. That's what we're really hoping for. Superman's going to be cruising around in position to make a play on this blue. Butterfly is still hanging out in the bush. We'll get off the circle of the hero. Daichan might be in a bad spot here, though. One. Oh, a little miscommunication. They still might get the kill. It is enough to keep her out, though. Butterfly was able to clean up the blue buff. They go straight onto the red. This is that invade we were talking about. Gilder, I didn't see if he leveled up his one or two, but ooh, the Slims is in a dangerous spot. All they have to do is check this bush. Ooh, Slims is in a real bad spot. Here you go. I don't know. He might be the first blood. Daichan trying. Rad's trying to clear this wave to make this Daichan miss a wave, but it's just not going to be enough. Uh, invade has not happened, and now this Slims is actually the one that is really far behind in the jungle. They're still fighting in the river, aren't they? Daichan. Uh, missed one or two creeps here, actually. And he's going to try and hang around. Superman, man, that's, this seems pretty annoying. Superman's done a good job of being in your face and annoying. Uh, Raz is actually doing a decent job of clearing the, the wave mid, um, which is not something that you see out of a Raz. Notoriously slow wave clear. Superman's going to try and make a play here. Ops to just go for the, the wave clear instead. Butterfly is in the area as well, looking like she might make a play on the Raz. Raz backs up. Big stun by the Gilder, followed up by the Raz Hadouken as well. Nice poke damage on the butterfly there. They're coming back in here. We'll get another big stun from the Gilder onto the Malagorn trying to get the flurry out. Aram making her presence known as well. Does eat a cleave from the Malak. Raz is on point with the Hadoukens. Ooh, and Gilder. Gilder hops in deep. Is going to be first blood. Pays for his mistake. Superman trying to make a huge play. Catches three. Raz trying to kill this Malak. This Malak is doing his job of eating tons of damage. And Eugen was just unable to connect there. Nice dodge by the Raz. Slims has been this, trying to play catch up here. Where's the next play going to happen, y'all? Where is it going to be? Is Superman going to do something in the bottom lane? Andromeda is looking at this Yorn. Ooh! Yorn is able to get some poke damage back, though. Raz is playing slightly aggressive. Gilder way on the other side of the map as well. Butterfly dropping low. Slims is caught back up in gold. They are going to secure the Sentinel here. Once they make their up way down to the bottom tower. Sugma is going to rotate mid. Pretty aggressive pathing there, but no fear since everybody's in this top lane. Daichan needs a big stun. Roxy might get pushed under tower again still has yet to take give damage so he can't get any tower shots all he needed was one tower shot and I think that's a kill <laughs> Roxy dancing around mid lane though we do have some action out of this Yorn is starting to hit like a truck already there's a big stun by the Slims and Superman coming through Caster's curse has struck Sugma right in the face. And this red team is actually now ahead in gold. A small lead, but a lead nonetheless. Aram has done a pretty good job of just keeping this top lane pushed, making somebody respond to him at all the time. 
Superman's been flying around everywhere doing Superman things. Butterfly's going to see an opportunity, try and go in. Raz knocks him out of the Gilder ult. Woo! And Gilder is still caught. Looks like he dashed in there, which was a little interesting. I think he could have made it out. Butterfly's going to reset and try and grab. And we did miss the mallet kill. Camera tours, baby. Camera tours. Or would Slims just pick that up for free? Oh, free. Oh, that could be a dead die chain as they unload a huge combo. Butterfly's going to try and make an appearance and just gets deleted. This Slims is starting to hit. Oh, big stun. Raz is going to come through with a Hadouken. It's going to dive. He uses a flicker for this. Will he be able to pick it up? There is the kill. Nice play by Raz there. You're going to invade and snag a little jungle action here. Cut the creep wave as well, making this Arum uh, pretty scared right now. Arum now has to make a decision. Is she going to fight or is she going to clear the wave? She chooses to fight. They do have the burst to kill her as well. As I say, that Gilder gets dragged under tower. And there's the Hadouken. Well, this Raz is putting on a clinic right here. Oh, Right as we give him... Oh, it's all right though. Bjorn will get dove here. Did we catch it in the end? Yeah, Superman eats him there. Butterfly gonna try and come in and help him, but it's not gonna be enough. Daichan looking to make a play against five. Not able to take one with him. Arum still being a pesky nuisance up here in the top lane. Oh, another one. Alright, alright. We'll see who else we can follow around here. Andromeda's going to take the mid lane. Raz is being pretty aggressive here on this blue puff. Superman's going to push him out of the way Raz try, as Raz tries to secure it. Ooh, it's going to be a big fight for this blue buff, and I don't know if it's worth it. Superman was able to get it. Malak with a huge ultimate on the back line is with no follow-up. Slims is still here. Nice stun onto the Yorn. They're just ignoring those Arum slows, and Daishan's going to ulti again. Roxy's going to be way out in front. Big stun by the Slims again. These Slims arrows early were a little rough, but late they are coming through here. Gilder took tons of tower shots here. I guess he was trying to poke this butterfly. Uh, again, at this point, it's a huge Dynasty's game to throw. Uh... 7,000 gold lead. I'm saying a lot. I apologize. <laughs> They're going to clean up the Sentinel here. Superman's just trying to take the buffs, anything he can in the jungle. Now, Superman is in a bad spot here. If they catch him out at the right angle, they might be able to get a kill. He can always jump over the wall. He's just going to sprint away. Aram's just been slowly poking away at this top lane. Daichan not really able to contest. The level lead is astronomical at this point in Arena of Valor, essentially. Gilder's the only one that's not close in levels as Raz being super aggressive here. Does have the heal buff with him. Misses the Hadouken. Does bait out the Malak ulti. If he hit this combo there, he probably would have gotten a kill. You really just need a turtle here and try and get this butterfly and you'll actually you just need to get the Yorn some gold right now. Uh, you just need to funnel everything into the Yorn as they go on to this Daichan and Arum in the top lane. Here comes the Gilder ultimate as well. They are all fairly low. Butterfly's gonna go in. It cleans up one. Is she gonna get two if they can get the Slims kill? That would be huge, but I don't know if they're gonna happen. Uh, she really needed that reset on the Gilder. Really needed that reset on the kill there. Superman's going to try and make a play. Decides against it. Just going to take this bottom tower. There is not much left for Vsauce at this point. Superman's just going to not even care about the backdoor protection and take that tower. Superman has done fairly well at his job, being extra annoying. They don't even want to play with him. He's just running wherever he wants to. Chooses the Malik to actually go on. Here they just need to get Slim System Towers, try and clean it up. 
Uh, maybe take Slayer, get the dragon. Ooh, Diachan. And then the Slims comes! Slims is out in front, but he's pretty fed. His Superman's going to push him all back into him, and that should be a team wipe. And your GG as Slims and Superman prove to be too much. Ooh, just don't take too many tower shots. Sorry, we didn't look at items a lot that game. Uh, if you can get Yorn, just one or two more items, Yorn can really be a problem. But ended up not being able to finish that second full item. Really hurt her in the long, hurt him in the long run. Superman was my MVP in that game. Slims had some pretty good arrows late in the game. Early missed a lot, but Superman was probably my MVP. Uh, really did, or Raz even. Uh, Superman and Raz both did their jobs fairly well. Let me turn some music back on. <laughs> Uh, the v Vsauce just really needed to, I don't know, a lot of their picks seem kind of random. They seem like comfort picks. My suggestions would be to expand the hero pool a little bit. Uh, try and work on a team comp that uh, you have options with. Like, if you don't get this Yorn fed, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much GG, right? All your eggs in one basket. Hiram support did fairly nice. I guess it was the support. I don't know what, what's going on with this Gilder though. Interesting builds. From the Eugen Dynasty. Uh, good games to both teams. Thanks for coming out. We should have another game coming up here in about 15 minutes. If I'm not mistaken. That was a pretty fast game, yeah. game was uh... I'll say this I played sports all my life and esports are no different a uh, good sportsmanship goes a long way and that's all there is to say about that Looks like we're gonna have like a maybe five to fifteen minute break here, not exactly sure. We're gonna have a quick break before the next game. Oh toxic means nice now. Sorry. I need to catch up on my memes.
into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you uh, the next game should be Team Zelf Nation versus Psychotics. set up a waiting screen. Oh, uh, can't I just put something on here that covers it? Yay! I did a thing! No, you guys can't join! <laughs> You guys have any questions about anything while we talk? While we wait, we can talk about builds. We can talk about whatever you want, guys. We can talk about whatever you want, brothers. I have to go to the bathroom now. I'll be right back.
honestly go to the Switch? I don't know. It's a good question. I'm sure that's a uh, something a lot of people have in mind. I like turtles. I like turtles. Uh, yo, there's no way this is a non-copyrighted stream dead. Yo, were you just waiting on the next game, brother? Emphasis on the totals. How do I do a poll in this chat? Powers to do in this chat. Team Zelf Nation against the Psychotics. Team Zelf Nation versus Psychotics. Ooh. See if we can make a tweet real quick.
Alright, 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 alright. It's not something you can hear. But it's this. Eh? 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 Team Zelf Nation versus Psychotics. Who do you think is going to win? What do we think, chat? Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and get into the first bands. Chugnar eliminated Malik. See ya. Thanks for playing. Uh, I think Chugnar's a pretty strong opening pick. Leaves a lot of flexibility in your drafts. Omen, a pretty dominant sidelander. So is Malik, uh, two people that you pretty much have to com uh, commit three or four heroes even to deal with, or you're going to itemize specifically for that hero. Xenial, uh, another crazy strong sidelander, can really turn the tide of pretty much any team fight. Uh, the ever present global ultimate. Gives you a lot of prowess on the map. Marja, super annoying. Seems impossible to kill at times. Super elusive. Like a good Marja should never die in a map. Uh, Arim gonna be thrown out here. Interesting since they had the first pick. Arim is just one of the strongest supports in the game right now. You can pretty much guarantee your kill, your team a kill. As long as you don't, as long as you have like one or two people there with you. And it doesn't even matter who. Gonna lead it off with the Valheim pick. It's going to be interesting to see if they use it as a lane Velhine or a jungle Velhine. Uh, opening pick for Psychotics is going to be the Xenial, followed up maybe by Zuka. I do like to see Zukas. They're always fun. That leaves them highly mobile. Uh, if Zuka's going to be their other side lane option, then they're going to have crazy mobility for these fights. Uh, even if a Xenial ult is in, Zuka can get to the other side of the map fairly quickly. Uh, and not really lose much lane pressure there. 
Crushed and Flash are going to be the next two to pick up. I think that Velheim counters Flash really well. So, in my opinion, they could have almost left it in the pool. Um, then again, Zell's Flash is pretty, pretty intimidating at times. Uh, it's going to be intriguing is to see if they run the Velheim jungle or lane. I imagine it's going to be a lane Velheim, but I could be wrong. Mina's a nice counter for the Flash. Uh, and if somehow you can catch this Crush in an ultimate by Mina before he gets his Metamorphosis off, it might be worth it. But you're looking to kill the Flash with a Mina. Junior's pretty much a front lining mage, comboing with his ultimate. Oh, and the Pura pick. I think they're going to lock this in, to be honest. Velheim jungle with the, or Slim's jungle with the Velheim lane. Uh, Pure there to heal anybody that needs it. And Crash being a huge frontliner. Uh, Zuka will, should be able to punish TZN's desire to want a team fight. Uh, Zuka can get onto the Slims in the back line. It's going to hurt their team fight a decent amount. As I said, we already saw one tell on us today, and it did not fare, fare very well. <coughs> Looks like they're going to opt for either Morn or Lindus, I hope, and go the ADC route. You're going to try and out ADC this double ADC team. Lindus provides early game pressure. Um, their game is fairly early. Like, Zuka's highly active early. Mina highly active early. Jyn are highly active early. Lindus can get up and destroy the mid game. If uh, Psychotics are able to skate through this early game, or even come out ahead and then really cruise through the mid, mid game, they might be able to take this. It's going to be Crush side lane, like we said. Felheim side lane. Jungle Slims. It's going to be an interesting game. Interesting game. I'm going to throw it out to the Team Zelf Nation here, though. This is the second match of the day. We had Eugen Dynasty, uh, 2 0 Vsauce earlier. <coughs> <coughs> this is game one of the Psychotics uh, Team Zelf Nation series it is a best of three game one is about to get underway self is going to be jungling on the slims uh james will be playing the crest in the side lane cappy's going to be taking over the flash in the mid lane me is is going to be on the velheim in the side lane as well with uh creamy on the pura uh the goat is going to be playing lindus out of the jungle sicarios is going to be playing the jinnar the baron himself on the mina hayuka on the Zuka. <laughs> That's just fun to say. And then uh, Malik on the Xenial. It would have been really cool if Malik actually played the Malik. My prediction is TZM. I am 2 for 0 on my predictions today. 2 and 0. I'm 100%. I ain't lost yet. Let's see if we can make it a third. Let's see if I can also not miss any kills this game. No camera tours. All right, green. All right, no camera tours this time. We'll see how it does. I just think if the psychotics get behind early... Psychotics get behind early, then uh, it's going to be a rough game for them. So, uh, I kind of expect to see some uh, like super heavy early aggression from the Psychotics. Uh, I'd like to see an invade out of them. Pierce going to go ahead and pick up the support item. They are setting up over this red buff. Pretty defensive. We will not see an invade out of them. Zook is going to make his way towards this. 
Velheim in position to reset as well. Uh, it looks like everybody at the moment is going to be content with just claiming their own jungle. Midwave has already cleared. I'd like to see some pressure from the Psychotics, but they're opting to play passive for now. Pure is cruising around trying to get vision for TZU. Creamy. Out there in the mid lane. Does get a big stun off there on Sicarios. Flash able to clean up there a little bit. Nice little poke damage. And all that poke damage that Cappy just took has been nullified by the Pure. Slim's coming through the blue side of the jungle. Uh, Velhan might be in a bad spot up here in the top lane. He is going to get Velheim, or Xenil pretty low, but it could be... Ooh, nice flicker out. His Flash is going to jump in deep, unable to get a stun off on him. Big stun out of the pier as well. Sicarios might be the one to pay here. Nice turnaround for me is there. The Shinar just did a little, a little too far out. Crash just jumping around in the bottom lane. <clears throat> they have their sights sent on the Sentinel right here. Should be an easy cleanup, fairly uncontested. Uh, it's Crush 4. That's what we're looking for here. Crush will not pick up 4 off of this. Uh, he is just slightly behind. They are going to try and do this dragon in the meantime. Big stun out onto the goat. Oh, as Mina goes in front lines here. Flash is going to jump deep into the back line. This could be it for the goat as Crush wants his kill so bad. All he needs is 4 for the metamorphosis. They're going to try and disengage on this. They have not lost anybody yet, but this Lindis is unable to contest. The dragon has been reset. They are going to have their sights reset on this. It should be fairly uncontested. Mina is the only one in the area that can possibly do anything. And that's a... Oh, the metamorphosis is going to be dropped anyway. Uh, I guess I thought more people would be in the area. Velhein, again, in the top lane. Doing a nice job of poking out the Xenial. Doing a little trading up there. Flash in the mid lane. <clears throat> Pure just running around grabbing some vision uh, items please uh, my guess is that TZN will be looking to get some crash rage for uh, before they look to make any major plays here there's nothing really on the map at the time they would like to get outside of a tower uh, if they see an opportunity they might go for it but they are perfectly fine with just sitting back and farming until they hit to their their key items. Uh, Flash is going to be... Ooh, it's a pure that gets pulled. Going to immediately pop the heal. Nothing to come of that. Nice stun onto the Mina. Will there be follow-up? He's just going to go ahead and leap into the bush. He has no way out now. Everything's going to be popped. Creamy's going to be the first to go. Will the Slims make it out? Ooh. I don't know. Xenil takes a couple shower shots and able to clean him up. As you have Crush now dropping the Metamorphosis, he I don't think he had the rage for it at the meantime. Uh, like I said, they just needed to wait for that Crush rage before they needed to make any play as Zuka will get some substantial damage on this top tower. Um, at least a half as Crush is not really able to respond in time. He might actually even get this tower as Velheim looks to pressure the bottom. Zuka is able to clean it up fairly easy. And the Xenial was able to defend his. There's another creep wave coming in. Pure is stuck to defend the mid. And the goat wants to get some poke damage out onto James. Vision going to be going through the blue side of the jungle. As Slims is making the look and make a play in this bottom lane. Mina is all alone. Pura is coming in. Jinnar and... Ooh, going to make a play. Going to yank him under the tower. I don't think he's going to save the tower though. Tower is gone. Jinnar's coming in from behind. Nice stun into the bush, forcing the Jinnar ultimate out, and they're going to have to retreat. They don't have anything for this dragon now. Nice bait out of a lot of abilities there. They might go for the steal here. Not even in time. The dragon has been melted, evening up, even giving a slight gold advantage now to TZN. Now they were able to take a tower and the dragon there. Nice little turnaround. Sitting in about a thousand gold lead now. Xenio was able to put pressure on the top lane, but not do anything with the butt in their jungle. Let's 
Slim is happily farming away. This Lindus is not quite as far ahead as you'd like it to be as we set to enter this mid-game, the third dragon. Second to third dragon is where I kind of view. You do have the Crush Ultimate on the ready now. Metamorphosis is ready to go, and there it goes. Nothing to follow up yet. Suka still dancing around in the bottom lane. Big Slim's arrow out into the Jinnar. Will they be able to capitalize on this? Flash is going to... Ooh, massive snag from the Mina. And they are just going to get annihilated. Zelf tried to hang on, and now James Crushed is the only one left as Velheim's pressuring the top lane. Ooh, Crush got yanked back in. He might actually die here. They're trying to not tanky enough. Xenial trying to defend this top lane. Velheim might get this tower if nobody comes, but they will get the mid tower here. Uh, there's a big wave pushing on the bottom. What? Um, Zuka died to the creeps. All right. Sorry about that. I did not expect that death to come. I said I wasn't going to miss any kills, but they're going to clean up this bottom tower, maybe, if they don't respond in time. A few more catapult shots, and that'll be it. Yep. And, and then the swing comes back the other way. As the Psychotics take back the gold lead. This Zenial is struggling against this Velheim. <clears throat> Just unable to really compete at all in this lane at this point. That's why Velheim's one of the most popular bands right now across a lot of regions. The Baron, poking around the mid lane. Zuka decides to get him some Velheim action. Able to force him off the Sentinel. Velheim's going to have to retreat to base. As far as items are concerned, support items, much love, much love AOV for the new support items. Both of these supports actually have some gold in the game now. Uh, Lindus is almost about to hit 4k. This could be the end of the Baron, though. He's dropping real low. There comes a the Metamorphosis. Zenial's going to have an ultimate come in. Creamy's now the one dropping low. Will she escape? Pure is going to barely escape now. Zenial wants it, though. Zuka's there. Oh, Misses the ultimate or gets stunned right there. Is going to be able to clean up the Pyrrha. Self is going to be able to skirt away with just a little bit of life. Mias joins the fight, though. Cleaning up the Zuka. There comes the Zenial. Try and keep him off the Jin R. And the Zenial, or the Belhine, is just punishing the Zenial. Fairly even team fight there. Uh, they are dead even in gold as we speak about it. Uh, 18, 19,000. Oh, they just took a little lead. Next creep wave, though. Uh, do we have any big items coming out soon? Slims is real close to the Crit's Clave, or the Clave Sanctity. That'll that'll help him out a lot. Uh, Lindus is really close to the Ronk Breaker. These next, they're going to start actually doing a lot of damage now. And Zuka's looking to make a play on this Valheim. It's going to ignore him for the time being. This this game. Valheim is so fat right now. 5.2 thousand gold. A couple hundred ahead of everybody else right now. If they can get this pick off, that would be huge. This Velhunt really needs to die. He's worth a lot of gold, too. Actually, if he gets one more kill, he's worth oh, <laughs> really a lot of gold. Nobody looking to make any hard commitment plays right now. As they round about this Dark Slayer, Zuka's going to try and make it out. He does have his ultimate, I believe. There, it's used, and he was unable to get over the wall. Zeniel's going to ultimate in now. That could be the end of both of them, though. As they try and save the Zuka's life, that's going to be a two for none. Pressure is being applied in this bottom lane. I don't know if it's going to get there soon enough. Uh, and Jenner's going to try and push out this mid lane as fast as possible, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to keep them off the Slayer. It's going down pretty quick. These creeps in the bottom lane aren't even going to hit the tower. Uh, they might not even be able to get to do too much. Uh, Crush does not have ultimate, though. I really think they need to force this tower here. This Mina needs to take some tower shots. Maybe she doesn't need to. Oh, yeah, Goat wanted it, man. Goat wanted it. Mina just needed to so push that Crushed off a little more. They're going to go ahead and pop the baby dragon to push down this middle lane. The new dragon just spawned. Jinnar is real poked out at this point. That tower, middle tower, just gets melted. If Slims gets on these towers, it's gonna, they're going to go down super fast, especially with this dragon helping them out. 
and the bonus buff with regen. Flash is just going to go in. Going to get a huge ultimate onto the Mina and the Zuka. The Xennial ultimate is just going to come in a little too late. And he is deep into there as Velheim goes in onto the back line. Keeps them out. Unable to help the Xennial as they are going to clean up. And they still have a tower minion. All I have to do is keep this tower minion alive. Get it actually in the tower range. And these ADCs are going to eat through this tower. They might even be able to end here. <clears throat> Gonna be a stun on Amina, and just with the Velhine going off, Crush is tanking. I don't even think they need creeps to end. That might be the end of game one. Zuka is gonna do what he can to defend. Is it gonna be enough? Ooh, feels bad. Not quite enough there in the end. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. <clears throat> Sorry, I did that to fucking cover up the. Whoops, I cussed too now. <clears throat> I did that cover up the uh, lobby. Sorry, guys. Did I cover up the lobby and I forgot to take it off? Pew pew! Hey, I'll take it off now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I did it just to cover up the Lobby 80. Uh, I'll see if I can remember this time. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be actually hosting this. I was supposed to just be casting. So I've had to do a lot of things on the fly here. But it's been a good time. TZ Intakes Game 1. I have to do this. I have to put it back on again. See if I remember. Take it off. I'm getting into the lobby right now. This one's going to be TZ in Team's Elf Nations versus the Psychotics.
after that last game, I would not be letting Gohan through anymore. That hero is just way too annoying. Violet's going to be banned out. Violet, again, has been really annoying in these couple of games. My mom's here, but she's on the other channel. Marja. Nobody wants to play against Marja, I guess. I just find her really annoying. Um, can do a lot of poke damage and can't avoid a lot of other damage. And the heals that Marge is able to put out are just crazy. Speaking of heals, there goes Aram. Another hero that has a lot of self heals. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a Roxy ban here. Uh, TZ in, uh, Malik ban, Winton, Zenial ban also. I see a Roxy ban here. Maybe the Malik ban. They probably want Malik though. Maybe an Omen ban. What are they going to decide on? The Malik. Uh, there's a lot of things open right now. Roxy's banned. Omen's going to be pretty strong. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Omen. Uh, I would... Uh, I'm probably looking at a Chugnar here. Uh, Slims is still out there. Lindus is still out there. Ari's out there. Just depends on what route they want to go with their draft. They really like Chugnar, yeah. Crush wouldn't surprise me either, he just... Like, you absorb crazy amount of damage with a Crush. You shield your whole team. You get a massive shield. Uh, Malik's one of the few straight-up counters to Crush. Uh, the true damage heroes aren't too much in the meta right now. I'm not going to comment on this Astrid until it gets locked in, but the Teamy is an interesting round to go here. Might go with the Lumber. Uh, and, uh, oh, I like the Ardwin pick way better here. And then you can just tank up for whatever ADC you want. Uh, Astrid kind of does the same thing. But, uh... Really want to have a good fighting four and then uh, allow, give space to your omen to push, to split push. Omen doesn't really react to team fights, and if he does, he's going to show up, ultimate somebody, and then run away. He's going to lock him down, try and kill him, and then get out. That's what an omen does. Go back, split push him. Uh, the team E, Ardwin. It's going to be a pretty big front line. They have a lot of HP they're going to have to burn through here. Decent amount of stuns and crowd control as well if they're thinking about the super ban. A lot of options for the Chugnar to use his ultimate on. I try and give... When I'm drafting against a Chugnar, I try and give him like a lot of things that he can't CC off. He can't get rid of. He can't purify. Because you can't purify them all unless you all use them at the same time. I was going to say more in our Zephys. You're really going to try... Uh, you're trying to use the Kali ultimate to just funnel everybody down to the Morin, right? You just want to funnel everybody in a nice little funnel down to the Morin. Roxy was still out there! Hey, oh, how can you forget about the Roxy? Holy cow, this Roxy's going to eat this Omen's lunch. Especially if this Omen doesn't build anti-heal. 
This omen, oh, this omen's gonna have a terrible day. They're just gonna leave Roxy in that lane the whole time. Uh, and that's gonna be it. Oh, I want to see Roxy go punish here so bad. You with the Roxy punish against an omen, you can just completely dominate an entire side of the map with one hero. Because Omen's going to need at least one other hero to respond. Uh, Arduin and Teamy aren't really the best to deal with the, the Roxy because they're both melee and, and kind of want to be up in your face. So you're going to need the Morin and the Kali and one other to kill this Roxy. That's three people. Outside of the Roxy not having Punish... Uh, I think the TZN lineup is looking fairly solid. They have a lot of options. Um, the Slims can get fed. The Flash can get fed. Roxy and Crash are just going to beefy front line. And the Chug is just going to be... Chug Narts is just going to be beefy front line as well. Hayuka is going to be playing the Ardwin. Malik is going to be playing the Omen. Sicarios is going to be on the Kali. The Baron on the Teamy. And the Goat on the Morin. Cappy's going to be playing the Flash. Chugnar is going to be played by James. Self is going to be on Slims. Crush is going to be playing Cr or Creamy is going to be playing the Crush, and Roxy is going to be played by Me Is. Uh, I'm going to give this one to TZN again. I just think the, the side lineup is just a little too spotty. No, it's a little too random for me. And this Roxy is absolutely going to destroy this Omen. And if not, I think he's going to contest with the Arduin. The Arduin, at best, trades even with a Roxy. At best, trades even. All right, we all do this, this pause thing. So I'm 3-0 on my predictions today. Let's see if I can make it 4-0 as I throw it out to TZ in here. Alright, alright. Let's get this thing set up for viewing. Boom! Boom! Uh, everybody's been fairly okay with wanting to play defense on these last couple of games. I don't anticipate that going any other different way here. Both teams in extremely defensive postures, just looking to get their junglers in and out of that jungle as fast as possible. And they are going to try and speed farm this Slims. I need to turn the game sound back up as well now. Scrub Lord. I might be a little too loud. I feel like there's a little better. Bottom lane Arduin's doing a little bit of trading with the Chugnar. Already level 2. This Chugnar will be level 2 after he cleans this lane, though. Teamy's much more effective early in the game, like this. Look at able to lock this Chugnar down, despite having a free Purify. <laughs> Crashed in the mid lane. Uh, just creating havoc. Teamy has his own havoc to respond with. Cappy's going in. Big Slim's arrow coming out onto the Baron as he is stunned for quite some time. They're going to yank this elf back in. And now there's a four on two as this crush is able to soak. A four on three. Mia's is going to respond and Arduin's going to be late to the team fight here though. Oh, First Blood's going to go to the GOAT as he cleans up the elf right there. Slim's just being a little too aggressive, a little too out, far out in front, and the Morin makes him pay there. That should be a free ticket to Dragonland. Now, this is really where you want your Roxy to take over the lane, though. Uh, and you really need to punish this Omen, being almost level 4 already. You need to take some jungle. Take the side, can't do anything to stay ahead. You want to stay ahead. This dragon, they might actually have time to respond. This dragon's only at 2,000 HP. Big slum zero. Psy goat again. The goat able to clean up that kill. Here comes the Kali ultimate. See you, Cappy. Thanks for playing. And Creamy going down early. Low. Not early, low. They really need this crush to hit four. Um, I guess this truck guards the side lane. 
And Chuck Norris the side lane with Crash being the support. They really need this four on this Crash if they're going to make this lineup work. Uh, I still think TZN has the better late game, but this Morin is out to such a huge lead early. Already tier two jungle item finished. Almost finishing the level three. Uh, nobody looking to make any real plays at the moment. Roxy going to go being annoying with the Omen. <clears throat> It's really hoping this Roxy would continue to apply pressure as we have a skirmish breaking out in the mid lane. Baron going to set up for a nice stun onto the Crash. Crash just 4 now going to make a huge difference in these team fights. Uh, as opposed to just being a bubble and a little knockback, he now has Metamorphosis. Roxy still being annoying in this top lane. Not giving Omen any breathing room, but the bottom lane, we got a huge fight breaking out. Kali Ultimate is going to come out. Not really hitting anybody. There's the Metamorphosis we were talking about. And the Flash is going to land it on to four. As Hayuki, oh, the Teamy Ultimate does come off, though. It's all right. Slims is still full health here in the back line, cleaning them up as they come alive. Only two remain. Flicker away from Sicarios. It's going to keep him alive there. Now, this is where you need your Roxy to go ham. Kali is going to try and defend this tower with the ultimate. They don't have Dragon for 10 seconds. Crash being the tanky man that he is. Shield for your whole team. Incredible ultimate from the Flash there. Snagging up four, it looked like, I'm pretty sure. Metamorphosis into five and a Flash ultimate into four. Holy cow, I hope somebody clipped that. I hope somebody clipped that for the boys. Morin's going to come back in and secure this dragon, though. The Crest Ultimate just a little too late. I don't think he had the Rage in time. And they're going to try and press this forward, though. Big Slim's arrow out onto Yuka, but he's going to be safe under tower. Uh, this is where if your Roxy had Punish, she could just skirt off in this jungle and steal the whole jungle. Uh, this Omen literally cannot kill you without having somebody else respond. So, But having the Sprint doesn't really allow you to capitalize on that as much. Crush just wants some rage here and trying to get the last hit to Slims. Gives up the other small camp. Thousand gold lead to two Psychotics doing their best to stay in this best of three. <clears throat> they do need to win to take it too. The next one is Omen drops crazy low. Going to be able to get out here. Kali's going to respond and clear this creep wave. Leaves Teamy alone in the mid. The Baron okay with that though. <clears throat> Sentinels being attacked upon. Teamy is in the area. Thinking about this steal. Going to decide against it. The Pooty Poots. The Pooty Poot. Not quite there. There are four. Four people in this mid lane. For Team Zelf Nation. What is their next plan of action here? Crash does have the metamorphosis here. Hoping Slim's arrow coming out of the bush. Lands onto nobody. Malik's looking to catch that Slim's. Roxy's going to come in from the behind now. Here we go. Teamy going in. The Baron out in front. Big Slim Zero. Swing and a miss as the Kali ultimate now comes out. Roxy goes in for it, though. Snatches up Kali. That could be the end. Oh, nice flicker away. Flash ultimate comes out onto the Baron. Did he get being a bro off in time? It looks like he did. He is going to come back. Two poked out. Metamorphosis is gone, though. Omen pushing this top lane. Able to get the top tower and all that. Nice Omen play there. Really taking advantage of the split pushing. TZN has their sights set on this dragon to, despite being... Oh, is it? The Morin's here to respond. Is he going to steal yet another dragon from these boys? Kali's coming in. Creamy goes down to the Morin, and they are able to clean... Oh, Slim stole it! I didn't see if he punished it. Did he punish it? Because that was a god tier punish if he did. Uh, looks like it was a Slim's arrow that got it or maybe a right click. Punish looks like it was used a little early. I could be wrong though. If he punished it, that was pretty god tier punish. Let's be honest. <clears throat> Self unable to claim his blue there. They were able to secure the dragon. Kali ultimate's going to come out. They want to kill this Roxy badge. He needs to turn on the boosts and there it is. This Morin is now becoming scary in the front line. Going to throw out his fear. And they're going to snag the Baron. The Baron's kind of tanky at this point, though. Flash is going to drop his ultimate. It's going to snag two in it. It is the Baron. Being a bro, gets popped. 
Should come back. There's the Baron. Are they able to secure this kill? The Slim's ultimate has been popped now. The Goat is now ignoring this fight. Metamorphosis has been used as well. Ardwin's going to respond at this point. And they just don't have anything left in the tank. Omen's going to think about going on this Roxy. Huge team fight. I don't think anybody died. That was crazy. Tons of ultimates used. Not a single death. Very low kill game. 5-2 to two here. 2,000 gold lead for the Psychotics here. This Warren is starting to hit scary ranges, boys and girls. Sentinel and Dark Slayer is now in play. Slayer now gives you the extra pushing bonus. Malik looking to make a play. Roxy unable to leash him. They need a tower. Self Nation needs a tower. Pooty Poot is done. The goat's coming in from behind. Kali ultimate's being used. Do they have the metamorphosis ready? Uh, I don't think it's ready yet. Creamy doesn't have the rage. So this is going to be a big wipe. Still doesn't have the rage. Trying to get out. Here's Flash to save the day. Oh, what a play. Being a bro is popped. Saves one. Saves two. Morn's now deep into their back line. Flash is able to skate away. Here comes the Chognar. Arduin did not even respond to that fight. Timmy's going to go back in. They are just unable to get on this Morn. Psychotic seem to have the slightly better rotations this game. Slims is going to be out in the front line. Flash goes. Now, this is only a 4k gold lead for Psychotics, despite TZN not having taken any towers. Uh, this is now Psychotics game to throw, in my opinion. As long as they continue to hold this map control, they will continue to increase this lead slowly over time. Uh, TZN really needs to make a play and get a tower out, or even Slayer. I don't think Slayer's as worth as a tower right now for them, though. They need some kind of pressure on this map. They have been suffocated into their half of the map for quite some time now. If they're going to go for the Slayer, now's the time. They do have the heroes in the area. They are going to be able to make a respond, though. Malik's going to be the first one in. The Goat's coming on through. Metamorphosis is popped. Crush is going to go on to this. Morin in the back line. They're still going for the Slayer. Zelf is able to pick up the Slayer. He does get locked down by the Omen, though. He, uh, he's going to go down. Malik able to pick him up with the Omen ultimate. Here comes the Kali, and they have nothing less. TZM is in full retreat mode. They are going to continue to chase down Mias, and they uh, hopefully are getting this Chugnar and crushed out. Arduin has been pushing the bottom lane the whole time. Hayuka has responded with a bottom tower and now begins to assault on the base tower. This might be it. They might just clean up all these towers right here. There is no way they're going to be able to respond to Mega Creeps if this goes down. They lo did lose the top wave. They will get one tower for sure, maybe two. Uh, one tower for sure. They have they have the chance to end, but they really need to save this bottom tower. Uh, looks like they're going to retreat, take some buffs on the way back. Uh, Dragon has been started by the Psychotics. Uh, we need to check items. We haven't done that in a while. We really need anti-heal. Otherwise, this Warren and this Omer are just going to continue to live their dream. Neither team has built an anti-heal item yet, and that's really hurting them. Whoever builds the first anti-heal heal item will automatically win this game. Uh, it is on a timer. So if you don't use it, it does spawn at a certain point. Mia is just staring at the teamy. Not sure what to do here. Kali ultimate down. They do have Crush Rage. Oh, the, the Morton is so out of position. Morton doesn't even care right now. They were 3v5 and they... <laughs> Morton did not even bat an eye. He stood strong in the front line there. Now, if they don't use the Crush Metamorphosis here, this tower is going to go down. It might go down either way. There's some Metamorphosis. Huge Flash Ultimate on 2-3. Being a Burrow was propped in the middle of that. They are going to have some people coming back. Malik tried to get the tower, though. He's going to take tons of tower shots as he goes down. And they're going to try and clean up some kills here. They do have all five of their heroes left alive. And they are going to try and clean up here. They really need this turnaround. Roxy cleans up the mid-wave. Hayuka able to leap out, just escaping. Unable to get that tower. Brave dive by the Omen uh, deep under the tier 3.
<clears throat> under that base tower. Now let's see if they can capitalize on this. No Kali ultimate to push out the waves. They really need to get a tower. This team is just going to frontline it though. More an ultimate, not going to do much. They need this. They need this tower. The mid lane tower is probably their best option. Flash option is going to be used. I don't know if they're going to get the tower. The creeps have died. Flash goes down. Kali's still alive. Still no metamorphosis. I think he just now got it. He might have to use it here to keep this team fight, to keep this game alive even. They're not willing to use it right now, though. They want to reset. They do have to respond to this middle lane, and bottom lane creeps are coming dangerously close. Roxy. Being a little aggressive in the top lane there. They did... They just used a ton of old moves to try and lock her down. Unable to get her. She is just skating away. Morin wants this kill so bad as they chase their own big, tanky, beefy person. Slim Zero swinging a miss. Malik in the bush retreats out of the bush. These creeps are going to hit the tower. They do not have much HP left on these towers. Will Psychotics wait for the next... Or are they just going to try and make a dive here? Slims! Oh, that Morin crit! Watch out! They are not in position to defend that at all. Nope, that tower is gone. With no hope in sight. They are down to one base tower. This Morin is just pumping out crazy damage right now. There's the anti-heal from the Flash. This game could... Could stand a chance. Big Metamorphosis catching four. More than the only one not in it. Flash deep into the back line. Ooh, he's not going to hit anybody really with his ultimate, though. It's all right. Kali now drops ultimate, doing tons of damage. Being a bro was popped. Will it be useful? There they come back. They go down. Slims is still alive. Slims versus a Morin, and the Kali was untouched the whole time. That's going to be your game. GG, well played. My first loss of the day as well. Holy cow. The AoE damage was just incredible there at the end. The plays, Duke. The plays. I'm going to throw that MVP out to Timmy, yo. Timmy had some crazy being a bro action. And I really think the Roxy not having punish uh, really hurt him in this game. Just was an un like he had, this, he had the early lead on Omen the whole time, and then Omen just slowly farmed back into it. Flash had some huge ultimates, but uh, like I said, the team he just countered a lot of it. The being a bro was insane. Uh, they had a lot of big four and five man ultimates out of the crash and the flash. Let's check out the stats here. Doing work on the Chognar. Alright, let's see. So the match is all tied up 1 1. Psychotics, uh, 1 game 2. Easy in one game one. Should be getting game three underway here momentarily.
I'm looking for the next lobby eighty. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. All right. This will be first match TZ in one. Right. Yeah, TZ in one game one. Psychotics won game two. Series is tied one to one now. Best of three. I gotta pee before they invite me. Oh, hit me with a room ID, yo. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, all right. You think it's all right if I leave the music on until we actually start the game? You guys all right with that out there? Chugnar ban. Yeah, he did work in that last game. I'm not gonna lie. I almost out damaged the slims. Chugnar does that like sneaky damage where you're like, what? How did I just lose a quarter of my HP? It's a Chugnar. He's an elephant with wings. What is going on? Velheim. Nobody wants to play against Velheim, dude. One of the strongest 1v1 heroes in the game. I don't know how Arena Valor made it possible to make this guy viable, but he is now viable for whatever reason. Unbelievable amount of stuns pumping him out like crazy all the time. Uh, very few heroes can actually contest with a Velheim 1v1 in lane. I'll let you know when I think of one. Maybe L'Oreal. L'Oreal side lane. Marja. Marja's a good one. Got to ban the Varja. I think Marja Velhein is probably the closest thing to trading even at Velhein is going to see. Omen did work on the split push last game like, like, like we saw. Uh, the Roxy really shut it down the Omen early, and then Omen was just able to farm and farm and farm, and ended up being one of the most farmed heroes in that entire game. Xenial can turn the tides of any team fight. I mean, Global Ulti. Global Ultimate with a heal and a Purify is pretty crazy, right? Pretty insane, bruh. Violet is pretty broken right now, some would say. Some would say Violet's pretty broken. Uh, a couple of items, and she does tons of damage. She's got to be able to get on her, and she's kind of useless, but 
Aram, what a strong first pick. Similar to the Roxy. I really hope they run a support though. Anytime you can trade your support for one of their heroes, almost guaranteed, is kind of broke. Malik and Ari, two very strong side laners, super dominant. Um, Malik's gonna be strong early from early on, level one. As soon as you can cleave, you can do things on Malik. Uh, and then Ari's gonna be really nice with a split push and help in the team fights. Flash has come up huge in the last couple games. Just need to coordinate, maybe a little more. I don't know how much more you can get coordinated in the last game though. Lumber, well, they go with, uh, they'll probably go Teamy again, actually. All right, I served him well last game, why not? I probably would have considered this the Teamy ban over. Oh, they're going to lock in the Mina. I just think Mina doesn't, falls off super hardcore from mid to late game. Aram crashed. Is a strong combo. And we're going to see how they're going to round it out here. Are they going to go a side lane or another support? I hope they said the same room as support, but we'll see. All right, the split push from this Killroth is crazy. doesn't really care about the Ari. Uh, once this Killroth gets a little farm, he's going to take over. This Ari really needs to keep this Killroth shut down early. Uh, they're looking for Lindis to carry them into the late game and then let the Kilgroth dominate. I think they have the tools to get there. The only downside is they're super heavy on reliable on four. Team Self Nation is super reliant on Team Four early in the game, or level four, I mean, early in the game. Crush needs metamorphosis to really make a big impact in team fight. Uh, Arim changes the game at level four. It is going to be the Arim support. Oh, they're doing all kinds of swap ups here. I am MP. Not sure if I am MP or me. This is going to be jungling. My guess is it's going to be the Lindus. Um, final picks on the other side. We're going to be tooling. What? What is this Tulin pick? I think Tulin. I guess it's not terrible if you combo with the Mina. Um, I just think Tulin. There's other mages that can do what Tulin does a little better right now. So we're going to have James playing the Crest, Zelf on the Flash, I am MP on the Lindus. Mia's on the Kilgroth and Creamy playing the Aram. Malik's going to be playing the Ari. Hayuka is going to be actually playing the Malik. That's going to be f fantastic to cast. Uh, Sicarios is playing the Tulin. Baron's going to be on the Mina and the Goat on the Slims. Let's see. I'm not. I'm more sold on the TZN draft than I am the Sicarios draft. But Slims? I, I don't know, man. I might give it to just the Slims. We'll see. Like, again, the Lindus really needs to come in strong after the early game into the mid game and really make some pressure happen. Like, your Lindus needs to create pressure in the mid game. Give your Kilgoroth space to get to the late game. Arum. Uh, should be able to front line well enough, and this Flash should be able to put enough poke damage out. I'm going to say... Oh, I didn't even put the Twitter icons up that time. <coughs> I just trash all over the place. All right, no missing kills this game. I got you, boys. Got you, girls. 
I'm going to give it to Aram. I'm giving this game to Aram. All right, that means I'm going with TZM. I am 3-1 and one on my predictions for today. Let's see if I can finish 4-1. and one. It's going to come down to the Aram or the Slims, and I'm giving it to the Aram. We're making an early engage. This is what I like to see. Rushing that red. Getting up in there. They are not even going to bother trying to reset their own. They're just going to trade him. Ooh, nice snag by the Mina, though. That's going to go ahead and reset. Oh, and unfortunately, this little camp's going to reset, too. Oh, they were able to burst it down in time, so they are able to clean up a little bit. Mina's going to try and go for this yank again. Get up in there, Aram. Whoa, that was weird. Man, they are making this feel like a lot harder than it needs to be. Aram just needs to get up in there, baby. You got three orbs healing you. So Invade actually fails. They lose their red. TZN is not sitting good right now. I think they missed a wave somewhere, though. Because they're fairly even on gold. Crush is going to have a hard time trading with this Ari, uh, this Malak. And this Ari should win this lane until this Kilgaroth gets some more farm. In the mid lane here, though, we got the Aram. Frontlining here. Going to let out his stun. Yeah, this Crush... Crush is going to be struggling in that lane, yo. Malak's going to just whip his big, big cleave out all over him. Ari's going to pick up the early Sonic Boots. Thought about contesting the red and thought against it. Big stun on the Zelf comes from the Slims. Going to yank him back in. Able to dash away because he is the Flash. Linda shows up in the bush. Another big stun from the goat onto the Lindus. It is not looking good. Mean is still pretty strong. Here comes another poke. That's going to be a dead Lindus. Who is next? That Slim's arrow is going to be a little off the mark. First blood going to way of side goats. It's not looking good. My prediction is not looking good. First dragon's going to go down fairly easy. Kilgrath doing what he can in the top lane. Uncontested dragon though. Crest has been forced under tower already. He's slim arrows. Slim's arrows, man. They're just coming out of nowhere. Landing the ones where it counts. Malik's going to go ahead and ultimate for this. Aram's still not four. Here comes the flash ultimate. Going to keep the Malik under tower. Crest is dead already, though. Linus is going to make an appearance. Linus and Flash are full, still full health. Ari doing work in this top lane, though. Like I said, Kilgroth needs a little time. This is where you need your Lindus to take over. Need your Lindus to start giving your Kilgroth some space. They really need to kill this Ari or she's going to explode here in a minute. I never turned off the music. Sorry, guys. All right, ooh, Mina missed the hook. That would have been a crazy hook, actually, if she yanked that flash out of midair. <clears throat> Aram does have ultimate ready. Not quite. Should be up here soon. Flicker on the ready, though. Nobody really looking to make a play right now. Crush content staying under tower. Uh, Psychotics with a thousand gold lead right now. They do make their approach onto this dead Tulin. Malik's going to join the fight. Zelf is way out there. Dodges the Ari ultimate. Malik ultimate's going to come in as well. Metamorphosis has been popped. The Baron is dropping low. Still going in. Big hook onto two in the back line. And that's going to be at least a four for one. Four for two. Are they able to clean up the crash? Yeah, they are. Four for two on the day. Kilgroth does a nice job of taking the top lane at the same time, though. Although this... Dragon could go in way, unless they're able to respond right away. Still about a, well, it's up to a 2,000 gold lead. Now, if this tower goes down, they're going to be in even more trouble. I think they're going to do, do tower in a dragon. It looks like they might decide to contest this, though. Aram does have ultimate this time. If they're going, they need to go now. 
Flash is going to try and jump in. Going to drop the ultimate. Lindus goes in now. Onto the Malak in the back line. Flash is low. Sicarios has been air multi. And Slims is just doing whatever he wants to. This Lindus is trying to kill the Malak. And gets the kill. Big Slims arrow. Misses. They could actually press for more here as Kilgroth is going to continue his press in the top lane. Baron gets a nice big hook. Flashes out. Able to put pressure now. And this Kilgroth is starting to hit his form. As they look to take the mid tower here. What a swing back in Team Zell's favor here. What is that lag? They are going to have their sights set on the red buff. Crush is going to clean up the bottom lane. They are now only a thousand gold behind. Arium's two and one. No support item though. Hmm. Mina does have the support item. Four in this top lane looking to kill this Kilgroth. This could be the end. There's a big slim zero. He's gonna dodge. Try to. The Mina is down there. Gonna pop the ultimate here now. Creamy is in the area. Mina is going to use the ultimate, but miss. Not miss. Kilgross ultimate is a big purify. I Lindus getting tons of damage done. Gonna get dove. Mia is, is unable to absorb it. Crest is in the area now with full metamorphosis. It's gonna let it rip onto nobody. Time. Let's see here. What's going to happen? Malik's put pressure on the bottom lane. Uh, Ari might respond. If Ari responds, this might look a little risky. I don't know what they're going to do here because Lindus is pretty poked out. Everybody else on the other team is pretty full health. They have all their punishes available. Ready to take a tower. Kind of thirsty. I don't know if I should risk grabbing a water right now or not. Oh, here we go. Good thing I didn't. The battle is about to resume. And there's the little extra pause. All right, we're back. We're good. Ari's going to push out this mid lane rather quickly. Somebody has to respond to his mid tower. is going to take tons of damage. The catapults are in play. Flash is there. Malik on the bottom lane. Malik is sitting in about 3,000 gold mid lane. We got this Arim's going to find the Ari, which is actually Malik. If they get a kill on the Slims, he's going to be worth a ton of gold. Sitting right up there with the Ari. Well, this really needs some gold here as Kilgroth starts to get ahead himself. I don't know if they can kill this Malik. He's just so tanky. Dragon is going to reset here. Malik's pretty low. The Baron's in the area. Kilgroth had to go top to respond to this Ari. Assume we're going to have a 4 on 4 with a 1 on 1 in the top lane here. See if we can watch everything that goes on. They're not going to quite start this just yet. Oh, Ari's getting dove. This dragon is at half health. Ari is not able to do anything up there. They're going to continue to try and get this. Are they going to take this dragon or Slim's going to steal it? Malik's going to steal it. Anybody? Holy cow. Top lane. Kilgore still dancing around this. Ari, he's going to be caught out here if he continues to go. They need to create some kind of pressure. Slim's comes in with a huge steal on that. And there goes the Kilgroth. Evaporated. Not looking good for TZN right now. Only have a 1k gold deficit though. They are set up right here, ready to defend this Slayer. Metamorphosis on the ready. Mina looking to make a play. Throwing out some poke fishing. Here comes a big Slim Zero onto the Arim. Not exactly who you want to be your kill target.
So we finally got bottom tower. Big flash ultimate's going to come out, snag one or two. Here comes the metamorphosis onto three. Uh, Creamy is going to go down here. Big Malagulti onto the back line. Flash is going to have to back out here. James is now caught out. Slims is going into work, putting in lots of right clicks. Kilgroth's going to try and respond now. They don't have much to respond to this. Kilgroth, he is an uh, animal right now. Aria ultimate is going to be thrown. He does not have the damage to eat through that Slims just yet. Dodges the next spin from Ari. One for two. Nice trade for TZ in there. Lindis is alone up here trying to get this blue. Is she going to be caught out? They had enough heroes there. They just didn't commit. I guess they thought she would have backup. Crush trying to get his rage up for this next team fight. Slims has a sight set on the mid tower. Trying to get some poke damage onto the Slims. Aram is put, trying to front line here. That tower is just going to be melted, though. Slims did get Aram ulted. Flash goes in now, though. Unable to get onto the Slims. There goes down the Slims. Malik's going to ultimate now into the back line. Creamy, the only one at low health. Huge turnaround here for TZN as this Kilgroth is going ham on this Tulin in the top lane as well. Ari is split pushing in the bottom lane. As long as they didn't lose a base tower here, they should be all right. They turn towards the dragon. Will they be able to secure it this time? As Ari is in the area. Ari has the ultimate too. It is ready. Here she goes. Throws out the stun. Going to ultimate. Oh, she's going to ignore the dragon and go for the Lindus. Able to take down the Lindus there. Kilgroth able to respond with an Ari kill though. They take the dragon. Who picked up the buff? Uh, looks like Flash picked up the buff. Zelf is going to be the one holding that at bonus health and once he hits a killing blow. Nice turnaround for TZM. Actually taking a gold lead on that on those last two team fights. The Slim's kill was a huge kill. Still sitting way atop of everybody at 7,000 gold. Like I said, Kilgroth just needed some time, and he's about to hit 8,000 gold himself here. Oh, this next team fight is going to be a big deciding factor in these base towers. Oh, they really just need Crush Rage, and I'm sure he has it by now. He has. He is going to respond to this Malik, though. The other four are going to position on the top half of the map, looking for a pickoff. Tulin's going to dash in. That would be tasty. Might have gone just a little too far. Mean is going to be there. Now pulls the taunt. Ari in onto the back line. Huge Malik ulti into the back line as well. Lindus is dropping low. There's the Ari ultimate. Lindus is able to escape out. There's the flash ultimate. They are able to take out the Ari first. Now have their sights set onto the Malik. Here comes the metamorphosis onto three. Another big a room slow coming out. Are they able to take down the heroes they need to? They turn onto the Mina. Malik and Slims. Ooh, Crash goes deep under tower. a the only one there to help. That's going to be it for the crash. Just a little too aggressive there. Wanted to use the metamorphosis to its full potential. Maybe distract them away from the bottom lane, but it looks like Malak might be able to respond here anyways. Lindus is going to go for it. Should be able to get the tower down. Tower is down. Not a terrible trade for the crash life. Kilgroth does need to be careful here in the top lane. No real pressure on the map to speak of. And nobody around to help him. Does have his ultimate ready. Not too worried, I suppose. Debuff shoot from the dragon should be off by now, I think. Is there a way I can check that? Uh, Flash has an anti-heal item. It's going to make Malik's life pretty hard. On to the tool and he goes. A little bit of poke. Mina's looking for the taunt. Bum, bum, bum. Ari pushing in the bottom lane, and nobody to respond yet. They need to make something happen here in the top lane, or Ari's old oh, Kilgroth is finally going to show up now. Another a four on four and a one on one engagement here. Ari's just going to go ham in the bottom lane. Gets the tower super low. Flash is going to be here to respond with the Lindus. A few more right clicks. That's going to be the end of the Ari. Leaving the Crushed alone on the Sentinel. Is able to grab the Sentinel. He might have to use Metamorphosis here if he's going to want to stay alive. It's not going to come out, and they're going to go straight onto this Slayer. 
Aram, the only one in the area so far. The other team is making their approach. Aram's going to jump in and grab the Sicarios, grab the Tulin. Here comes the Malik Ultimate. Uh, PSY was able to pick up the Slayer in that. They're going to clean everybody up here. Flash goes down. Kilgroth. Ooh, nice snag by the Mina. Creamy's trying to do what he can. Will the Tulin finally go down? It will cost the Kilgroth's life. A two for three as Malik just comes up and touches the tower. It goes down. Un still even in gold after that engagement. Still even in gold after that engagement. They did get the mid tower out of it. The creeps are going to get here, though. Uh, another 20 seconds until the full team is up. I believe they'll have Metamorphosis as, as soon as he's alive. Yeah, he's got it. They have the rage for it. They could go for it. They go. Trying to get a hopeful ultimate here. Slims is dropping to half. Does not have his ultimate available. Here comes the dragon. Flash and Linda's clearing out the bottom lane. Here they come to respond. Flash is going to jump in now. Big ultimate on the back line. It's going to grab three. Everybody except for the Ari is able to dash out. Mallet goes in into the back line. James, the metamorphosis is no more. Are they able to take down the Slims? No, the Slims is able to kite it out. There goes Flash to get the Slims. Oh, the lag. Oh, and Flash is able to get out. Linus is here to clean up now. Picking them off one by one. Tulin has responded back to the fight. Died pretty early in the last one. Looks like they'll be able to save the tower here as well. They do have to respond to this dragon and say goodbye to the blue buff. Oh, just a half second too late on that. Linus is going to go for this, though. Malik is still there, able to poke the Tulin out. The whole time that dragon did not touch the tower at all. Oh, the top goes down. They were able to kill the Slims, which gave them a huge advantage in that team fight. If they're going to make this next dragon work, they need to do it right now. It's a little bit of a risky play with Lindus being the only one up there. Slims is coming out of base now. They do have the DPS if they all get here, though. Mina's the only one in the air. Malik is here as well. All ultimates on the ready. This is going to be another pretty big team fight. Slims going to be wrapping from the back. Metamorphosis has dropped already. Here comes the Malik ultimate. Does catch the Lindus. The Slims ulti will miss. Flash is going in. Going to ultimate. Stay on top of the dragon. Snatches up the Malik and the Slims into there. Oh, Malik should die right here as well. He did get the buff, so he's going to come right back. <laughs> Oh, Ari, still in the top lane the whole time. Split pushing away. One person will have to respond. The Crest is back already. Needs to get some more range. So he's the perfect one. Kilgroth is going to try and apply pressure to his bottom tower as Zelf and Creamy look to apply pressure in the middle and the top half. Ari's going to snake up their jungle. Kilgroth should get this tower fairly free. TZN making a comeback here in the late game. We've hit 17 minutes now after a very rocky start early. They have made, managed to give this Kilgroth some space and let him do some things. Uh, they now, TZN actually has a gold lead now of 4,000 gold. Fairly minimal at this stage of the game. Probably only one or two items between people. Uh, Slim's just picked up the Curse of Death. <clears throat> Actually might hurt him pretty well in this team fight. A slash is going to go deep onto the Tulin. Tulin's able to get out. Aero Multi is going to stun him though here. As Baron drops low as well. Ari's in the back line. Nice ultimate from the Aram. Saving him for now. Will it be enough? I, uh, Lindus goes down. Flash is going to try and clean up the Ari here. Not going to be enough damage. His crest just wasn't quite in range. They still have the Kilgroth here if they want to try and make a play. They do have wave. Uh, all the waves are pushing in their favor. Blue buff spawns here. Do they go for it? Might be a little risky. Kilgroth is unable to secure it. Hercules was popped. But Diana Troy finished up by the crash, so that allows him to be even more tankier here. Cooldown reduction as well for more bubbles. <coughs> Psychotic's just marching down the lane very methodically right now. Lindus isn't up for another three seconds. So they really need to try and wait, not force anything until she's up, especially at this point in the game. Next team wipe pretty much decides it as long as you have one favor, one creep going in your way. This is game three of the best of three series between the Team Zelf Nation and Psychotic's. 
It is tied one to one now. Ari begins to do work on this blue buff. Should get it uncontested and does. Slayer is now in play again. But Crush does not have the DPS with him. Slims and Malik are in the area to start this thing, though. They're poking at it. Kilgroff's going to be left alone to split push in the bottom lane. Hikati's finished on your Tulin. Another big power spike there. Lindis being a little up in front. Tulin's going to look for this here. Kilgroth is in the area, is able to respond at this point, wants to find this Ari though. If he can find this Ari kill, that's going to be huge for the TZN. There it goes. <clears throat> He's going to go on him. Ari does have the dashes, able to back out for now. Big fight breaks out in the middle though. Flash is caught out. He's going to have to ultimate to get out of this. It does have the tool in, able to take out the tool in here. Giving them a window that they needed. Ari's in the area. Kilgroth is going to go back to the bottom. Crush is leaping forward onto four. Does not have the DPS with him just yet. They need some creeps as well. They are going to retreat to the Slayer and leave Kilgroth the split push in the bottom lane here. Aram's got the vision out there trying to do this Slayer. Kilgroth wants to get this Ari kill real bad. They do have the Slayer giving them a dragon now too for the extra push if when they want it. Lindis isn't alone in the top lane as the other three pressure down mid. Kilgroth is able to take down the Ari. And I missed it. Now's your chance, TZN. The comeback has been real. Will it be finished? Malg's going to go ahead and front line this. Kilgroth's going to bring his lane. Lindis slowly coming up. Wants to grab this red buff here first. Self's going to go deep into the back line. Wants this Slim's dead and gets it. Mean is able to snatch him up, but it's not going to matter. Medible versus comes through. The all low for the Psychotics. Self is trying to get out. Able to get just outside of the Malik ultimate. Lindis is still here doing tons of damage. Kilgroth decides to go in. Creamy's still there. They still have this dragon as well. They have the, both lanes in their favor. Kilgroth is going to go back. They're going to try and get this top tower real quick. They do have the creeps with them. Metamorphosis they do not have. This is going to be kind of risky here. As James sleeps in, they don't have the damage, I think, to quite burn through it. Their wave clear is pretty incredible from the Psychotics team. Ooh, I missed another kill. Kilgroth was able to die, but Zelf picked up the Tulin instead. A one-for-one one trade there. Uh, looks like they're going to try for this dragon now. Uh, they have all their GPS alive, except for Kilgroth. Uh, Ari is in the area. Mina's going to be scouted out by the Aram as well. Ooh, Metamorphosis is used to secure this. They get it in the end. Dark Slayer, Dark Slayer Blessing going ways of the Lindus IMMP. This Kilgroth will be up in three seconds. TZM tries to continue to starve them out. They have now established a 7,000 gold lead. Uh, Kilgroth is making his way up. He's going to stop with the blue buff on the way. TZ in does not want to wait for Crush or him though. Uh, right now the Psychotics just need for TZ in to mess up something sometime real bad. Uh, they need somebody to step out. This Lindus to be out of position and they need to go for the kill and quickly. Uh, like if this Ari comes in from behind. This already makes it all the way down the lane. It could be an issue. She's going to go ahead and retreat, though. Creeps are in range of this top tower. Looks like they're going to go for this bottom tower here. Try and get some poke damage on some people, and Lindus kind of hurts. Kind of a dead, dead spot here in the game. Nobody wants to mess up. This is game three. Winner of this takes the series for this week. Uh, is anybody not six slotted? Everybody has everything they could ever want in this game. As this final attack on this tower. Slims goes down super early. Not good for the Psychotics. This tower is still standing strong though. Creamy looks like he'll be the next one to go down. Malik is trying to do some damage on the front line. Kilgroth going to work on the base though. 
Uh, they still have a creep here under the tower. Flash is dancing all over anybody, trying to get this tooling kill and be just enough of the distraction to get out. Flash pays with his life, but Lindis wants to go back in. They're trying to clean it up here. Ari is able to get away. Big ultimate by the Mina. Crush is unable to save the Lindis there. As Lindis comes back with the, the new Aegis. Oh, and Malik just pounces on her head. Malik said, that was cute. I'm just going to jump on your head. And boom goes the Lindis. So all in all, uh, the gold lead stays at 7,000. They get another base tower, though, TZN. Uh, the real question is, will they be able to hold off this assault before their teammates get up? Aram is coming back to life. Now, Crush is battling it out in the bottom lane, just trying to get Rage. All he wants is Rage for this defense. Kilgroth might be able to get another Ari kill in the top lane. Which is a huge pickoff right now. This Kilgroth has paid huge dividends here in the late game. You know, this Kilgroth is literally saving the game for them. Killing this Arya over and over again. Oh, this Arya's sole job has been get on top of this Flash and Lindis. And she has done a very good job of it when she's been alive. They need to press this advantage right now if they can. Who still needs items, boys? What do we need? We just need creeps to towers. They're gonna crush me in the front line. Zelf wants to go in here. Mina's gonna go ahead and blow the taunt. That does not catch anybody actually in the ultimate. Lotus is gonna grab the mid wave and the top wave here. I'm gonna try and bring him back into the team. Not looking to take any towers right now. They want the Slayer and the Baby Dragon. Aram scouts it out. The Dark Slayer goes down right before they show up. Oh, and the goat has been caught out. See ya. That is a huge part of their damage as Kilgroth was doing work in the bottom lane. They're going to shove this dragon through the top lane. As long as Kilgroth doesn't do anything crazy. It'll take a lot of people to kill him at this point. There, it looks like they're going to go for the win here, though. They're going to crush ultimate. Malik's going to come in on top of him. Huge taunt by Mina. Oh, IMP goes down. And that's the ball game. Didn't even need their Lindis. Holy cow. What a back and forth game. Ended up being almost 30 minutes. Holy cow. Everybody was seven slotted. All came down to execution there at the end. I, like I said, I think Kilgroth was the MVP. Only had four kills. Um, I bet he didn't even participate in that many team fights. Only 40% of the team fights, but he killed the Ari when he needed to. He killed the Ari when they needed to. Oh, tons of damage coming out from <laughs> everybody. Cy the Goat putting out almost 200,000. Finished with 175,000 damage on the match. Sicarios finished with 175,000 thousand themselves a uh, bunch of huge flash ultimates in there uh the combo the flash crash combo is pretty strong oh uh, she she did all right she did 25 percent of her team's damage you know she did all right hey then they won right in the end uh, that's all that really matters I don't know, because it's definitely Wednesday. They're Wintastic. All right, boys and girls, that I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. Um, don't forget to check out the Premier Valor League on Twitter for updates. Premier Valor League for updates. Um, they have a Discord as well. I don't know if it's public or not. This is my first week doing it here. That was the last game of the tonight. Uh, like I said, this is my first week. I was not expecting to actually be hosting. I was expecting to just cast, but you know, things happen. Things happen and we move on. Uh, I want to say thanks to the Premier Valor League for allowing me to host here. Thanks to all the teams that came out and played. Uh, 
We had some issues with the first game, but both teams were very gentlemen, womanly. I don't know. What's the right word I'm looking for? They were both nice. They allowed for a little delay in the game to start. I believe Premier Valor League happens every Wednesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time and goes until 10 p.m. Central Time. Um, other than that, that's going to be it for us today. Our winners were Eugen Dynasty in this game. 2-0 the Vsauce. Uh, TZN, Team Zelf Nation, ended up 2 one -ing. Psychotics there in a really back-and-forth game in the end. Uh, again, thanks to everybody. PVL, thanks to anybody that tweeted at the PVL. <clears throat> Who do we want to host, y'all? Devil Heroes. Tybisol, Litterbox. I don't, I've never seen Litterbox before. Neon Blind. Uh... That's not very much English, though. What do we want, chat? So make sure you're following the Premier Valor League on Twitter. Um, they also have a website. I'm not sure the exact website. Uh, if you tweeted them, I'm sure they'll get at you. Um, TZ and X James is one of the community managers in that last game. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I'm supposed to shout out. You can check me out. Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Always green, threes for ease. Um, nobody has given us any preference on who we should host. Anybody? Litterbox, Neon Blind, Tybisol, Devil Heroes. Alright, we're going to throw it out to... Uh... Stupid litter box. I've never seen them. Let's see if they respond first, though. Uh, kill them. Yeah, that's probably dumb move, but whatever. All right, let's do it. Are oh, you guys vote devil? I was. All right, now you guys have a preference. All right, we're gonna do devil then. I was gonna do the new guy, but we can do devil. <clears throat> hey man, it's y'all's y'all's world. I'm just I'm just living in it, you know. All right, thanks again. Hope to see y'all next time. I just waved, even though you can't see me. <laughs> I don't have permission to perform that action. What? Oh, I can't raid or host. Rip. All right, everybody go to Devil's Heroes. All right, I'll link his chat. I wonder if I can post a link. All right, y'all. There's the link. Y'all go. Thanks for hanging out. See you guys. Bye.